Hi Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's signs. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed either way. All right, so let's see what is going on with Gemini for the first half of April. Okay, we have fear and we have grief, all right? So this could be you, this could be your person, it could be the both of you. Um, I feel like whoever it is that is holding on to a fear here is also having some grief because of that. So whatever this fear is, it's causing a lot of pain, it's causing some sadness, it's causing them actually just a lot of, I feel, turmoil overall in their lives because of this um, particular fear. So let's get into it and see what this is about. and Venus signs for April two, and we have the Ten of Wands just popped out <clears throat> so yeah I feel like whatever it is that is going on it feels like it's something that has um, I feel like it's dropped somebody to their knees in pain is what I mean in um, in just burden in in um, a feeling of I don't know what else to do that's what I'm getting here all right all right so for the situation we have the five of pentacles crossed by there it is again the ten of wands yeah so definitely a sense of uh, even feeling like a victim feeling um maybe even feeling rejected. It could be that somebody has a fear of rejection or somebody is feeling very rejected in the situation here and it's, or just as, I'm mostly getting the victim. I feel like this fear is cause, is bringing someone to their knees. That's just how it keeps um, coming, coming to me. Almost like asking for mercy. Like what else is there here for me to do? What can I do? Um, it's and it's funny that I, I say that and it's also in this um, image here this guy in on his knees on the ground feeling this burden on top of his back um, we'll see we'll see when we clarify so we have in the recent past the six of cups and in the near future we have the three of cups so this is definitely a person that you had a very strong connection with I feel like there was a very strong bond here um, so if that's not your story, then this reading might not resonate for you. It might just not be your your reading, all right? Um, because I do see a very strong connection here in the past where you just felt very bonded to this person. Um, and it's interesting that we do have the Three of Cups coming up, so that could be a reconciliation. Let's, let's see, for your energy, we have the High Priestess. For them, we have the Tower. For you, we also have the Chariot. For them, we have the Ten of Swords. And potential outcome here, we have the Page of Wands. All right, so it feels like it is, the way it's showing up here, I feel like it is the, um, the other person that is going through this difficult time. It could be that it is you, okay? So just reverse the roles if that's what makes sense for you. So... I'm actually going to start with your person here because it feels like they're going through a very, very difficult time right now having the Tower and the Ten of Swords, not to mention the main energy here, which I mostly feel is them. Um, definitely going through something like a dark night of the soul and feeling a lot of pain. I feel like they're feeling like, like things are, they feel like a situation is doomed. They feel, I almost get that, they feel like they're going to be in this, um, forever like they just don't see a way out kind of a thing and I do feel like it's mostly um, in their heads for now because this is related to a fear which again could be a fear of, of rejection but I mostly feel like it's this uh, a fear of things not being able to change a fear of having to to 
bear this weight of a difficult situation forever. That's what it feels like. Um, again, I mean, I just can't help but feel that for some of you watching, that that's going to be you, the, per the other person here, that the roles are going to be reversed, all right? And that happens because people do cross-watch and it could just go either way. All right, now for you here, we have the High Priestess and the Chariot. So I do feel like you are pretty much tuning into your intuition, you're trying to follow your intuition, you're trying to come into alignment with your own self, and I do feel like that actually... There might either be something that you are rushing towards, or that you just feel a little bit impulsive about, and it could be that that's what your intuition is telling you to do. So we'll see when we clarify. For the potential outcome, the Page of Wands, that does talk about something new here, or a new way of seeing things, a new way of being, possibly a new perception, or just being um, open to something new, either within this connection or, or outside of this connection. We'll see when we clarify. So I feel like this is a pretty intense reading, at least for one person. Could be for the both of you, but it's at least at least for the other person as it's showing up here. Alright, so let me clarify that five of pentacles with the ten of wands. Okay, wow. The we have judgment, the ten of swords again. So yeah, I do feel like this situation, as I said, is mostly related to your person. And the Four of Swords. All right, okay, so somebody, this person here, is having a very hard time releasing this burden and coming to a place of healing. I feel like it's just that they feel like, like it's all just too intense, what they're going through right now. I feel like it is really intense, but at the same time, I feel like they're learning major, major lessons here. They are about to have some revelations. I feel like just things are so intense at the moment that they can't see exactly what it is that they're learning. Um, but but there is, there is a major life lesson um, revolving around this connection, okay, for this person at least. Could be also for you. It usually does go both ways like that. It also feels like there's a decision that this person needs to make where, again, it feels like whatever decision this person makes, it's, it's, it's like damned if I do and damned if I don't. It's that kind of an energy. It's that kind of a feel here. Um, again, it does feel like there might be some healing that is going to happen. I mean, there is that opportunity there, at least, for healing to happen following this situation, which could even be related to an ending of some sort here, okay, with that Ten of Swords. It's just, it's just coming through as a major fear of making a decision which might, the way that this person is feeling it is like it might not even do anything. It might not even change anything because I feel like I'm just doomed to this energy of feeling like I'm at a loss. And pretty much it's, it's really victim mentality is what it is. And it's causing this person a lot of grief. Um, let me see the Six of Cups in the recent past. The Eight of Swords, Let's see what else. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, so even though there was a very strong connection here, I feel like it was, um, there was a lot of inconsistency here. So it, it may even be that, because um, also having the Eight of Swords, there's that fear again. There was a fear here. There may have been actually a fear of inconsistency on someone's part or somebody being feeling like the other person is inconsistent or just not sure if this person is, you know, 100% committed here. There may have been some in and out. And I feel like that in and out is actually related to that fear. It's because of that fear that just kept um, coming back or preventing this person from being able to make that decision and from being able to release that responsibility, whatever that is, off of their shoulders. And again, it's, it's, it's fear. It's not that they are stuck in a situation. It's, it's just fear 
either of um, the unknown or of consequences or of, you know, even if I move this way again, it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't. Like that just keeps coming through to me. Um, let's take a look at your energy, High Priestess. All right, we have the King of Swords and we also have the Five of Pentacles, which is interesting because that's in the main situation. So it could be that you too are feeling some kind of a of a loss here, uh, maybe feeling left out in the cold, feeling um, It's interesting though because it's it's together with the King of Swords. So I'm getting it's coming through as you actually standing firm and wanting to make possibly your own decision here or to make a decision based off of what what this main situation is. I feel like your intuition is telling you to kind of set your boundaries or to really be stand firm and be determined when it comes to dealing with the situation where either someone is feeling like a victim or where you may have even felt abandoned. Let me see the chariot. Make more sense out of this. I feel like you just... I also feel like you're having a lot of clarity here as to what is um, really going on um, with this person. Alright, the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're you're trying to move possibly in a new direction. You want to move in a new direction that is going to bring you some happiness, that is going to bring you some fulfillment, that is going to bring you love, regardless of you know where you find that. I almost feel like you might not even know. Um, where you can find that or if you will find that but you're you're kind of like just trusting your intuition um, it's like you're almost as if you know well you're feeling like well I can't find that here it's not here at the moment maybe it used to be or maybe that potential was there but since I'm not finding it here now I'm just gonna move in a new direction and see where where that takes me see if I can find that um, it might even feel like you are rushing almost to overcome whatever it is that happened here or whatever it is that has been going on. Um, I'm also getting that for some of you it might not even be a new direction. It could even be towards this person. like going at them in a in a very fast way almost as if to help them to overcome to overcome their fear. I don't know how much that's going to to help you though. But for the most part for most of you I feel like you're moving away from this. Let me take a look at their energy and then we'll see. We'll see. The story tends to unfold the deeper we go. Um, let's see the tower. Alright, the Four of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. There is something that this person is, um, I feel, really holding on to. They're holding on to a situation where that situation is what is creating this tower for them. Um, and they're holding on to it again because of, out of fear. And it feels like, they, so it's their own manifestation here. They're manifesting this tower on their own because they're like stubbornly holding on to something, feeling as if there's no solution. And it's like their mind is so scattered, not being able to see clearly. 
that by just staying in this energy of the Five of Pentacles and feeling like a victim, that's not, that's not going to move them, that's not what's going to help move them forward. Again, I just can't help but feel that there's a lesson in this. There's a lesson in this that might help them to come out of that. And I feel like something is going to push them to take, to just take some action here, even if it is going to be impulsive. I almost see them as chasing you here, the way it's coming through. It's like you're running away from this, and then this person is is chasing you. But I feel like that... I feel like that kind of... It comes with a lot of difficulty. And I feel like the way that they're going to chase you, is, it's, it's going to be in a way where it is um, very impulsive, but in a way where, again, it's creating a tower for them. So they might not even really um, see it through, like not finish it off because they're still holding on to something. Let me see the Ten of Swords. All right, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so they might be holding on to some pain, possibly from the past. Um, they're feeling, a, gosh, not even from the past, even from what is going on now. I feel like it's a combination of both. For some of them, it could be that there's another commitment here involved with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, and it's it's just so strange the way it's coming through because it also feels like an ending. There is an ending of a particular commitment, which could be the commitment with you. And then having the Page of Wands again, it's like this... This ending is opening the path to something new but it also brings in pain. And I feel like that's why there's this essence of, as I keep saying, damned if you do, damned if you don't. With whatever that is, whatever, maybe it's just an acceptance of an ending. Maybe it's an acceptance of a pain. And it's, it's just, it's difficult either way. And so I do feel like you're moving away from this, even though even though you do hold love for this person. But it feels like you, you, want, you want happiness, you want um, fulfillment. And it feels like at the moment, the way this person is, it's, it's very difficult for them to provide you with that. And I feel like you're just more determined to find that fulfillment away from this since you can't find it here, even though that might cause you pain as well because, because of, the, of the strength of the bond here with this person. Let me see the Three of Cups. So you're definitely feeling that sense of loss as well. So it could be that you're also feeling that grief also. Alright, so for the Three of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. There's definitely something coming in here. Um, things are moving in a direction of, of a, um, a reuniting. Somebody is working towards that. But I don't know if you're how you're going to feel about it. I feel like you... Um, I feel like you might have a more standoffish type of an energy when it comes to this reconciliation. Um, I feel like you're going to kind of keep your distance a little bit because, well, for whatever reason, you you might not be sure that this has been resolved or, you know, what is going on with this person. Are they really in for good or are they, you know, are they done with this Ten of Swords and this Five of Pentacles issue or, you know, are they really in it for the long run? and. I feel like you're just going to be very, very, you're going to try to be very, very discerning. And the way I'm seeing it here is, you know, follow your intuition. I feel like your intuition right now is, is at its peak, pretty much. It, it's pretty high. So 
So let me see that page of wands. The moon, the ace of pentacles, and the queen of wands. Yeah, there's definitely that potential coming in. I feel like there is going to be something new. It's going to feel like there's a new step taken um, when it comes to this connection. But I feel like you're, there's still going to be some doubts. There might still be some uncertainties. You might still not know if you know the full picture of what is going on. Um, so I think you're going to be a little bit hesitant. And I do see you still standing in your power here, really trying to... Um, just hold your ground. I feel like you are entering a very confident time period where you feel also very worthy of yourself and you don't want anything less than what you deserve. And I, again, this, this possibility is going to open itself up I, with the Ace of Pentacles. There's something that's coming in here in the Knight of Cups. I do feel like this person is going to approach you in some way and try to um, have this reconciliation with you or some kind of a reconnecting with you. And you're going to be a little bit, you know, um, discerning. And it's going to be different for each of you. So you are going to have to make that discernment. And I do say that quite often because, well, it's true. Um, it just can't be the same for every Gemini out there or every um, Gemini's counterpart out there. But I do see you. I feel like you, you're very intuitive, as I said. So that that's going to help you. All right, Gemini, let's see. If this resonated, let's get your final message. And we have great adventure. Take a risk, venture forward. Yeah, so you it might feel like what you're doing right now is taking a risk by if you're moving away from this connection or, or even if you're moving towards this connection, okay? Um, I feel like whatever that risk is that you feel like you might be taking, you might feel like you don't have control or that you don't know where it's taking you, but I'm seeing here that, yeah, it's in alignment with your intuition and here's the support from, from Spirit also saying, take a risk, venture forward. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.